Okay, let's see. Oh, these must be more samples. Wow, they really hooked me up with the free samples. Oh, awesome. I wanted to try these. These are the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero um, cleansing balms. Isn't that awesome? How cool. That's like a decent sample, like a deluxe sample. And I got two of them, which is really cool. I'll have to give one to my mom and see what she thinks. But very cool. Thank you, Beauty Net Korea. And I also got two little jars of Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence, which this has the galactosomyces, galactomyces in it, which are the same ingredient from my Misha The First Revolution Essence, that one that I really like. So it'll be kind of cool to try these out. I got the Innisfree Green Tea Mineral Mist. Um, this is just kind of like a little pocket mist that's awesome for you know, if you're on the go and you just want to freshen up your makeup or freshen up your face or you can use this before um, applying any of your skincare products. So it's a very versatile product that you can use to set your foundation, to freshen it up, to help with your skincare, all that kind of good stuff. So um, I really like this and I wanted to try this from Innisfree because I really like their brand. I also got, of course, some eye and lip remover from Etude House. I like the separating oils. Um, from the solution because for me that seems to be most efficient and this was a fairly affordable um, makeup remover. They did an awesome job packaging this. Like I'm really impressed by how how well packaged everything is. Like they didn't skimp on the bubble wrap whatsoever. So I got the um, Skin Food Red Orange Sun Pack in number two natural. This is actually a brand I've never heard of and it's called Eglips or Eglips. I'm not really sure. It's E G L I P S. And this is their Blur Powder Compact. And I just wanted something to throw in my purse, kind of, for setting, just touching up on the go. And this is a number 23. Okay, so this is the Season 5, I don't know what that means, Argan Angel Moisture Steam Cream. This is from Secret Key. I don't really get the concepts of steam creams. I don't actually know what they do. I don't know if you're supposed to use them in the shower for the steam or if you're supposed to steam your face. I have no idea how they work. I wanted to buy it and find it out. Okie dokie, moving on. <laughs> don't judge me. I didn't order this. I, I don't know what this is. And I don't even see a brand on this. Maybe it's another freebie. Oh, it, this is from the Sem. Okay, and it's the Equal Soul Kiss Button Nail. I love these colors. If you've ever seen like my nail polish, normally it's usually pink, purple, those types of colors. So I really like that. And then I got this. This is new from Holica Holica. This is one of their new um, Pro Beauty Bloody Oil Tints. I've noticed that they've come out with this Pro Beauty line, which I'm assuming is supposed to be a more luxury lot luxurious line of, of things for Holica Holica but I like that if I could get this packaging open but it's so cute with like the blood so hollow oh I'm holding it upside down it's kind of Halloweeny kind of goes with the typical Holica Holica theme of like kind of witches and cats and things like that I like that Holica Holica is kind of alternative like that I think that they should stick to that because there's enough etude houses and cutesy kind of brands so I can't even get this thing open, and I don't want to kill the box, but I want to see what it looks like. There we go. And I got mine in red 801, which was like Vampire Kiss or something, but this is so cool because it's actually separated. It's kind of hard to see, but the darker kind of like tint is separated on the bottom, and then the liquidy part on top is supposed to be kind of moisturizing. And the concept of this is you can pull it all the way out straight out without mixing it and apply it to your lips, and it gives that really easy gradient effect. Or you can kind of mix it together and then apply it to your lips, and it gives kind of a blended stain look. But I just wanted to try that because it was new from Holocolica, and I can always go for some nice red lips. Let's see. This is another eye makeup remover, or just makeup remover in general, that has a separated oil. So this is from Innisfree. I just wanted to try both the Innisfree and Etude House one to kind of compare and see which one I liked more. And this is the Apple Juicy Lip and Eye Remover. And I've heard this is pretty good, so I'm excited to try that. So this is something that I'm going to be doing for my WTF segment. And this is the Snail Bee High Content Essence from Benton. I've never tried anything from Benton, so I'm excited to try this. And this is what the name implies, which it has 
snail snail and bee venom in it. So I know I like snail stuff, so we'll see if I like bee stuff. Um, but I just thought that was so crazy, and it's kind of supposed to be a all fixer upper type of thing. Like it's good for moisturization, good for wrinkles, good for brightening your skin tone. Even your skin tone is supposed to have all those good qualities to it. So we will see. This is a huge container of it, so I really hope I like it because. Alright, I swear we're getting towards the end, guys. Just bear with me. I need a new eye cream because I ran out of my Elizabeth Arden 24 hour perpetual moisture eye cream or something like that. And I really like that, so I wanted to try something from Mizon or Mizon, and this is their snail repair eye cream. I got a lot of stuff that's snail, but now that I know I like them, I will buy a ton of stuff. But let's see what it looks like. It looks like a huge box for an eye cream. And again, I know Maison or Mizon has um, really good snail products. So if you're going to buy any snail products, I hear to buy them from Maison, Mizon. Sorry, I'm butchering that. Oh, it has a little spatula that comes with it, of course, to keep sanitary. And this is a pretty substantial container of eye cream. Like, it's pretty big. It's about the size of my palm of my hand. But I'm going to open this because I'm going to use this right away. I want to kind of look at it. I'm nosy. It doesn't smell like anything, but it's just an eye cream. That's gonna last me forever. Like, I'll never run out of that. And this was really affordable. I wanna say it was like 10 or $12, which is super cheap for an eye cream. Okay, so these are the last makeup products that I bought. And I know what these are. Did I buy this? This is sad that I can't remember if I bought stuff or not or if these are freebies. I want to say this is a freebie. This is the Tony Moly Tony Tony Moly Tony Tint Delight in number two, and it's just a lip stain. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this. I'm pretty sure it's a freebie. So thank you again, Beauty Night Korea, for being so generous with your freebies. These are the Holika Holika um, Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliners, and I remember when I went to Korea and I came back, I was kicking myself in the butt because I was thinking, how could I not buy these? and go to Korea and go shopping in Hall of and I didn't pick any of these up. So I had to buy a ton of these and it was really hard because they had a very big selection of these eyeliners as far as colors go. They had like 16 or 20 different colors so there were a lot to pick from. So I ended up getting four, um, but they had a buy one get one free. So they ended up being like $5 a piece or $4 a piece, something like that, which is super cheap. Um, but I bought a, so I bought this purple one which I am a big fan of purple eyeliners in general. Um, and this was really unique looking, so I was very intrigued by this. And this is in number 16. And this is supposed to be a really dark cranberry purple color. I bought a brown one because I had to get, I, my little brown eyeliner was just pathetic, so I had to throw it away because it was just, such a tiny little stub, and I used to really like the Rimmel London eyeliners, and I hear these are fairly comparable. So let's see. It's kind of hard to get this package off. And this one's in number 11, and it's supposed to be kind of a lighter brown, not necessarily a dark chocolate brown, but more of an amber brown. Like, that's a good explanation. But yeah. So, very pretty and wearable. I actually wasn't planning on buying this color, but then when I started researching a little bit and I started seeing people's swatches, I died for this color. Like, it just looked awesome on every single person's eyes and looked really pretty, and you could see that it was definitely blue and not like one of those navy blues that's so dark it might as well be black because you can't even see the color. And this was one of the most sparkly ones I had seen, so I had to get this one, of course. I'll stick in my hair. Oops. And this is a number three, but it's this really pretty navy glittery blue. And last but not least, I got this one, which I think this is also a really popular one. Um, and this is their kind of, for not necessarily for the top of your eyelid, but for underneath your eye to kind of give you that bright wide eye, doe, doughy doll effect. Let's try not to destroy this eyeliner. Ugh. Okay. And this is a number Eight. And it's just a glittery peachy pink color, which would be awesome for waterline use. Yes, I got those four eyeliners. I promise this is my last 
makeup product. But if I can get this open too, it could be easier for you to see. This was absolutely gorgeous. I had to buy it. And this is number four. Um, I don't know the name in English, but it's just a really pretty glittery purple eyeliner. Again, I'm such a sucker for, I think you need to shake it. I'm such a sucker for um, glittery eyeliners, purple eyeliners. Especially because purple for me and my brown eyes really makes my brown eyes pop, so it's always a bonus. I guess I'll swatch this for you guys. Very pretty. You can kind of see it's like a um, pearlescent, kind of purpley brown, so it's nice and wearable. And last but not least, this is going to sound crazy, but this is more for my mom. She really likes these foot peeling masks if you've ever tried them. And so they're really expensive here in the United States if you go to any type of Asian market and try to buy these or if you try and buy them online. And they're very reasonable on this website. They were like seven or eight dollars a piece, so I bought 10 of them. I know, I know it's so bad. The rest of this container, the rest of this box is these foot peeling masks, but she really likes these. So I thought, what the heck? <laughs> but she'll be stocked up for a while and not need them. Those are all the products that I bought from beautycrea.net. I am not buying makeup for a really long time after this because I spent a little too much money, but I'm really excited to try and review these products for you guys. If you want to see any of these reviewed or more information on these, please comment down below specifically what product you'd like to see, and I will try and get to them on my website, or if I really like them, maybe I will include them in my videos. And be sure to subscribe because it helps me out a ton. Share this with your friends and family, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hilarious. Tony Molly, you crack me up with your packaging. But this is the banana sleeping pack. It's like a little banana. How funny is that? Now, I love sleeping packs because